perfect right. example of dreams oh coming God. true. Well, this morning, we are going to premiere Henry Humdingers. This is raw honey with a variety of spices invented by Henry Miller. Now, inspiration struck Henry when he sat next to a beekeeper on a flight and he learned how the bees are in jeopardy. So making it his life mission to save the bees, Henry bought his first beehive and began selling the raw honey by the side of the road. What you may not realize is he was 12 when he bought his first beehive um, and he is he's combined the honey with spices to make it perfect for cooking he took his delicious creation all the way to shark tank maybe you saw him there now henry is here to share it with you right here at hsm for the very first time and you get to enjoy it henry eight years ago you started this when you were 12. yeah i know it's been it's been a long time it feels like it's for me, I now feel like an old man. An I've, old I've man been in the 20. business for a good amount of time now, <laughs> ready to retire. Yeah. <laughs> back. All right. Well, we got we to gotta sell a lot of honey before you can retire. And, um, I think this is going to be the day. It's a perfect time for you to be part of our Valentine's Day event because we love the sweet. This is sweet and spicy. Look at this. We've got Grumpy Grandpa. If you are a naughty nana, you're going to want to get this one. Um, actually, you're getting all three plus the hanky panky. And let me show you exactly what you're getting because you're getting all three for $29.95, which is really an incredible deal, plus the recipe book. And I know, Henry, you're gonna show us how to make a couple of these things, but let me just explain a little bit. The Grumpy Grandpa is the one that started it all, cayenne and garlic infused. Then we also have ginger and pepper. That's the Naughty Nana, yes. right? And then this is the one I'm excited to taste, is um, vanilla and nutmeg honey. The hanky panky. <gasps> the hanky panky. We yep. all need a little hanky panky for Valentine's Day, um, whether it's just, you know, in our meals or not. So. We can make sweets and also um, savory foods, right? Yes, you can. One of the best things I love about the honey is normally when you think of honey, you think of just sweet, and when you think of spices, you think of just spicy. But sure. for some reason, when we mix them together, we're able to combine them, and it, the uses just go out the... Uh, the, through the roof, exactly. sorry. Exactly, all right, so we're gonna start our Valentine's Day meal with a delicious salad. Yeah, this is, this is spinach salad. We have the candied walnuts that are using, that have the Naughty Nana flavor on them as well as in the dressing. Ah. And so one of the things is people normally, um, people normally have trouble with some salad dressings. Sometimes they're a little too thick, sometimes Ooh. they're a little too thin, but the honey makes it a nice base for the salad and also adds a little bit of kick to, so, to something that you may just have every day because one of the things about the honey is you can put it on just about anything and it spices up your everyday dishes and adds a little bit of flavor where you may have been lacking it. Right, okay, interesting. So what we have is what you, you got a little bit of the spice, a little bit of the sweet, candied the, candied the walnuts. Um, all right, so what next do we have? Because I want to try them all. All right, the next would be the spicy meatloaf. Uh, <gasps> that's the grumpy, gra meatloaf. that has the grumpy grandpa on it. Most people think honey and meatloaf and honestly, it's a little weird at first if you haven't thought, if you've never thought of it. But for me, I would never eat meatloaf any other way. It makes, because sometimes when you get meatloaf, it's so dry and it lacks flavor, but when you add the honey to it, it makes it nice and juicy, and it uh, it makes the treat delicious. Because uh, when I was oh a kid, God. I always see on meatloaf, you see on TV, and kids mm -hmm. are always not wanting it, and it just seems so underplayed. But when we added the honey to it, wow. it adds spice, it adds flavor, and it adds uh, the perfect amount of juiciness that you just really can't mm. beat. Well, this is a great combination of a little bit of spice and a little bit of sweet. It's just that perfect combination. It's like that... Now I'm just getting that little bit of slow burn. It wakes everything up. This is your chance to try it. For $10 a jar, you're also getting it shipped to you for free. It's $9.98. And oh, for a little bit extra. Oh yeah. <gasps> how nice. And I love how it kind of caramelizes right on there. And the, the best thing is, since it's the honey, you can always just add more to flavor where, wherever it is. If you have not enough in it, you can just add some on top and it makes the perfect dressing to any of the dishes as well. Mm -hmm. And all of these dishes are also in the cookbook that comes with the honey. Okay. And this, this cookbook has a bunch of recipes in it that are totally perfect for figuring out what to do with the honey because that's the number one issue that some people have is I have it now, what do I do with it? Right. Well. Well, you know, what I, you know yeah. what I love about it is there's nothing else like it on the market. So exactly. when you taste it, you think, 
I've never tasted this. What am I going to do with it? Which makes it so fun because now you can play with it. You get all three flavors, so you're not having to choose between the different flavors. What in the world is that? This is a fruit pizza. <laughs> oh and my this gosh. uses the hanky panky in it, and uh. it looks as, del it tastes as delicious as it looks. It's the perfect centerpiece that's edible and delicious. How beautiful. I mean, that, honestly, I've seen, I've seen, uh, you know, desserts like that at the desserts or the bakeries or whatever, and that could be forty or fifty dollars. Just that in that beautiful. Now for twenty nine dollars, you're getting all three of the honeys, and you can create it yourself. There's nothing like creating a gift or creating a, a masterpiece. Ooh, yeah. so you're using the hanky panky one. That's yes. with vanilla and nutmeg. That's the vanilla and nutmeg. See, some people. Uh, can I eat it with a spoon? Is that yes. on the, in the oh, recipe book? Of course. <laughs> okay. Some people might be a little thrown off. Right there. Some people might be a little thrown off by the idea of spicy honey, and you're going to get a little bit more comfortable with the Ooh. hanky panky if you're not used to it. Mm -hmm. But once you get your foot in the door, so the grumpy grandpa and naughty nana are. I, I couldn't cook without them at this point ah. because it's. So much flavor in a jar. We, My aunt mm. just pours the grumpy grandpa over some chicken and just calls it easy dinner sometimes if you're stressed and you don't That's have a whole lot of time. Brilliant. That's really brilliant. Okay, so what are we next? Okay, okay, do you really have bread pudding? That's what I hear. I'm uh, looking around. I don't see I don't it. see bread pudding. Uh, well, one of the things is but well, we've got all kinds of things, but look at this. Yeah. Well, you, you can see we've got shrimp, and you dip it right in there. We've got sweet potato. Oh, my gosh, Makes that's an amazing. excellent dipping sauce. <gasps> Absolutely perfect. Then, of course, you showed us that meatloaf wings because you want that spicy oh, it, and sweet. The Grumpy Grandpa is perfect for barbecuing. Summer's, gonna, summer's just around the corner, and... I mean, at least I like to think so in school. <laughs> <laughs> that's what gets us through, right? Yeah. yeah. You're in Washington, right? It's, you got some yeah, weather. Yeah, it's perfect uh -huh. for grilling, perfect for baking. Mm. Normally, people think of honey, and they just kind of scratch their heads on how they're going to incorporate that into enough dishes. But it's perfect on sweet potato fries as a dipping sauce. It makes... We have this blend uh, in our recipe that uses our man that uses mango and the honey um, and the hanky panky that you can dip put as a spread on bread. I'm just listening. I'm just oh, eating. <laughs> oh, that's perfectly fine. So many different options that you can use, and you're getting three. They're nice big jars. I love the I love the the um, the illustration on the front. And tell us as we're as we're learning about these. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, so Naughty Nana. I know you said Grumpy Grandpa started started it all. Who's Grumpy Grandpa? Grumpy Grandpa is my by? grandfather who plays who played jazz in Paris, and he ah. is just like about every other Grumpy Grandpa that there is out there. <laughs> Very opinionated, but with a heart of gold. But, but played jazz in Paris. I love it. So yeah. he's a little spicy, a little sweet. As represented as the little Eiffel Tower and the trumpet on the ah. on the jar, as well as the Naughty Nana flavor is named after my wonderful Nana. Mm -hmm. But she everyone's she, wondering why you named it Naughty. She cheats. At cards. That's 100% okay. true. Proven fact. And then. Naughty Nana. Hanky Panky was a nickname I had growing up as well. Hmm, okay. It is the Valentine's uh, Day special after all. It's the Valentine's Day special. Um, you're getting all three. So even if you think, you know, honey, we're, we're learning a little bit more about how spices really can act almost like caffeine for us. I mean, they really can perk you up. So if you're trying to go from that coffee into tea, Try a little bit of that Naughty Nana in there with a little bit of the pepper. You still get the sweet, but that perk me up kind of gets your, it just kind of gets your body revved. But if you're thinking about maybe cooking for Valentine's Day, my least favorite day to go out to eat is Valentine's Day. Simply because everybody goes out on Valentine's exactly. Day. I'd much rather cook a meal and have it kind of mean something. But this way, it tastes gourmet. It's an, it's an interesting fusion of flavors, which you did for us. Exactly. Um, mm, I'm, this is absolutely delicious. You've got to try it. You know what? For $9.98, we'll ship it to you for free. You get to try it out. And really, I love your passion as well about the bees and the Thank hives you. and how you give money really to, to preserve the bees. Well, the bees are so important to our ecosystem and so important to the world that we really need to make sure that mm. we're looking out for them. And honestly, the honey is delicious, and we wouldn't have that without them <laughs> either. true. So what a great way to be able to do that. Thank you so Thank you much. So and thanks much. for inspiring kids, like my own kids, to get, it, get going and invent something um, that everybody can enjoy. Thanks so much, Henry. Thank Welcome you. to the show. This is the last time that we have the last planned airing. We only brought in a handful of those, so please be sure that you try those out. Um, we'll be right back with more.